Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 1993 Lancia Delta Evo 2. Up front is a 2.0 liter inline four and down below is a five speed manual transmission. If you can't tell by the inflection in my voice, I am so incredibly excited to be driving this Lancia Delta. This car was purpose built for rallying back in the late 1980s and early 1990s. And so the Evo 2 was the top dog when it came to that. So this is the best Lancia Delta I could drive and I am so incredibly thankful to be doing it here today. But if you would like to submit your own vehicle, you can head on over to my website, zachpradle.com slash submit. It's a quick and easy submission form, takes under a minute to fill out, and I come out to you. And huge thank you to Nomad Imports here in Flint, Michigan for letting me take out their Lancia Delta. This is an absolute dream come true. Please go check out their inventory. They have the coolest cars on the face of the earth, and you don't want to miss out on what they have. But let's get back to that two liter turbo under the hood, making eh, about 215-ish horsepower. It's not anything insanely crazy, at least on paper. But then when you start driving it, you start to realize the beast that this car truly is. This car was designed for one single purpose, to go fast off-road, and that's what it's exceedingly good at. Like I said, Paraduit is a five-speed manual, and interestingly enough, first gear is really long. It'll take you to about 40 miles an hour, but then the subsequent gears are really quick after that because those are the main gears you're gonna be shifting through to hold the car in its happy place. The speedometer doesn't even go all the way down to zero, and that's a factory thing, because you're not gonna use the speedometer down there. That's not what this car was for, and so the gearing reflects that too. First gear will get you going, but then two, three, four, and five, that's when you can hit it and have some fun. Last but not least, of course, the Lancia Delta Evo 2 is all wheel drive. So how does it feel to drive the Lancia Delta? The power is wonderful. The performance is fantastic. The driving position is actually terrible. I'm not having a whole lot of fun physically driving it. I sit really high up. The pedals are really close together. I don't really love that part of it, but. Build. Oh, that turbo whistle. Oh, yes. <laughs> then you let into it and then, then you have some fun. This car is an absolute blast and it's everything I wanted it to be. With that stuff out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, the gauges really reinforce that purpose-built feeling. Off to the left, I do have my speedometer, and off to the right, I have my tachometer, but I have all my warning lights and all my gauges clear as day right in front of me. So if an issue comes up, I know right away. The steering wheel doesn't have an airbag, didn't have to, just has the Lancia badge, and it works as intended. Off to the left, up above, I do have two Gretti gauges. These are aftermarket, but very nice to have. And down below, we have the climate control vent, a little shelf, and moving on to the door, we have this really interesting latch to get in and out. Very strange, but you might see that there's some plastic on the door card that isn't put on aftermarket. That is the original plastic from the factory it has never been removed from this particular Lancia Delta. No human hands have touched the fabric since 1993. That is very, very cool. Moving into the center, we have two climate control vents as well as our oil pressure and coolant temperature. And of course we have an aftermarket radio, a bunch of buttons for our fog lights, hazard switch, wipers, defrost, and our climate controls. Very simple and basic, fan speed off to the left, temperature in the center, where to send it off to the right. We do get a little openable ashtray as well with a cigarette lighter inside. And then we have to talk about the shifter. The shifter feels good. It shifts really, really well, and I've enjoyed myself. However, I think it has this really clever bit where they actually put an indent to rest your thumb. So when you grab the shift knob, it feels more like a handshake than a gear lever. That is really, really cool. Down below that, we do have a big indent. We don't get any cup holders here in the desk. Delta Evo 2, so unfortunately it fails the big friggin' bottle test, but I don't care. And then we have our power window switches found down there, parking brake, and that's it. Moving on to the seats, like I said, the seat sits really, really high up. Not a big fan of that particularly, but I think these seats look absolutely wonderful. I think they're beautiful seats, and they've held up really well 
over the 31 years since they were put in the car. However, speaking of seats, this is a four door. So let's go do some back seat reviews. I'm in the back of the Lancia Delta Evo 2. Such a fun sentence, which I don't think anyone was really supposed to be back here. My head is hitting the ceiling. Um, the seats look fantastic, but they're not super comfortable which is fine. This car should have had a beige headliner as well. Not really sure why it's blue. Maybe that was a factory, someone like requested it or something, but yeah, my head's hitting the ceiling. My knees actually have some space, but not a whole lot. This is not the best part of the Delta, but I don't care because driving it is so wonderful that I can forget all the rest. But let's talk about the trunk because what if you want a Lancia Delta Evo 2 for a grocery getter? Oh, let's go find out. All right, around the back of the Lancia Delta, little handle here, pull it up, and oh well, geez, those shocks are really powerful. But once we are back here, it's pretty standard practice stuff. We got the spare tire. We do have a bar for chassis stiffening and whatnot. This was some center caps that came on it, the Abarth center caps, which have no connection to this car. But other than that, nothing really too crazy. Little wiper fluid reservoir back there. Very, very cool to see. But if you've ever wondered what the trunk of a Lancia Delta Evo 2 looks like, there it is. Now we gotta talk about the looks. And if your blood pressure didn't jump just a little bit, if your heart didn't race a touch when this car shows up on your screen, unfortunately, you might be dead. This is a beautiful automobile. The box fenders, the hatchback, the little circle lights, it's saying, please, sir, please drive me off road and beat the ever living shit out of me. And you know what I say, Delta Evo 2? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. This car looks fantastic. When Nomad Imports rolled it out into the sun for me, my jaw had to be scooped off of the pavement. It's gorgeous. And I know this video doesn't do it any justice. You're probably sitting there on your phone or laptop or TV going, yeah, it's a cool car. Try to find one and look at one in person. You will need a defibrillator. And that's how I feel just looking at this car. But with all of that being said, let's get on to my final thoughts. What do I think driving not only my first Lancia, and I know I've Americanized that name. I know it's technically like Lancia or Lanch. Whatever, my Midwestern accent says Lancia. What's my overall impressions? Well, I love driving it. I mean, this thing takes no prisoners. It doesn't ask questions, it just goes. And I can't imagine actually driving one of these in a rally stage. It must feel so at home in that environment because it feels great even here on these Flint roads. But I think this car has an ego that's even bigger than it. Oh my God. All right, all right, I'll be quiet. I mean, I'll try to do an underhood video. I'll, I'll try my best. I don't know if it'll work, but here you go. It's nice to be driving a car where the Italians didn't focus on luxury. This car doesn't feel exquisite. It doesn't feel like it's visually stunning, but driving not so much. It does everything. It looks like it will punch you in the chest. And you know what? Gosh darn it, it will. And that, oh, this car is beautiful. It's wonderful. And I think I've been spoiled by Lancia now. I, I don't think I can drive a regular plebeian Lancia and feel the same rush of emotions that I'm feeling here today. God, this car is good. Everything I wanted and just a touch more. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge, enormous thank you 
to Nomad Imports here in Flint, Michigan. They imported this vehicle from Japan, actually. This car was originally sold new in Japan. They imported here. They have tons and tons and tons of interesting, unique vehicles. They have been absolutely wonderful to work with. The most down-to-earth, friendly, car-centric staff I have ever dealt with in any importer. They care about the customer, they care about the product, and they are cool enough to import one of these things. And I think that speaks volumes for itself. So please go check out their inventory, message them. If you want to import a car, they are the people to go to here in the Midwest, without a doubt. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Normally I try to do the intro and outro without my sunglasses on, but I just feel too cool for school right now. So the sunglasses stay on and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care guys. Ah.